so today we will discuss about your order ephemeroptera okay you see order ephemeroptera the synonyms are your ephemerida pleco plectoptera not plecoptera that is your word synonym is plectoptera okay etymology the meaning you see ephemera means living for a day only they will live for a single day the adult and tera means wings that's why the name is ephemeroptera so here you see the common names are your what may flies sedis flies and day flies So you see prominently you can see this is the mayflies very tiny insect small insects okay small to medium size short bodied insect here you can see small insect okay palmar's organs are present on the head very very important palmar's organs are present on the head of which insect that is your day fly mayfly okay that is your ephemeroptera order compound eyes are larger here you can see this is the compound eye compound eyes are larger they are there are three ocelli you see there are three ocelli yes or no antenna is short and cetaceous here you can see the antenna is short and cetaceous one more thing you see apart from this one two three uh, this two compound eyes you see here also one organ is there yes or no looking like compound eyes only they are known as what two turbinate eyes okay used to identify the females when they enter a swarm of male flies that means in the male it will be there in the female it won't be there this turbinate eyes won't be there mouth parts in adult are atrophied and in case of naiads that is like your catching only sometimes masking type okay to feed on the aquatic prey so up to this clear yes or no hmm, this is the turbinate eyes and don't think that these are the compound eyes these are the turbinate eyes okay you see next coming to your four wings okay so four wings are triangular and large and you see the hind wings are smaller one absent in some species they are absent also okay some species of ephemeroptera even hind wings are absent but most of them they are having two pair of wings okay numerous cross veins intercalary veins will be there wings are held vertically over the abdomen here you can see they are held vertically yes or no wing flexing mechanism is absent what is the meaning they cannot rotate their wing reverse back to the abdomen okay just like in case of grasshopper they cannot do that's why what is your word wing flexing mechanism is absent abdomen is slender with a pair of long cerci this is one cerci this is one cerci and a median caudal filament is there this is your median caudal filament in some species that is absent also so now the question is in which insect median caudal filament is there in which insect in which insect median caudal filament is there one is your silver fish yes or no that is your thysonora another one is what your ephemeroptera that is your day flies huh? remember very very important okay next you see male have paid gonopper you see this should be the gonopper but you see this is the paid one yes or no divided yes or no forked one yes or no that's why it is written as what your male have paid gonopper very very important okay next you see the metamorphosis that is incomplete with only three stages egg stage larval stage is known as naiad and the adult stage will be there naiads are aquatic with biting type of mouth parts it breathe through the bilateral abdominal gills okay in this larval stage naiads what will happen bilateral gills will be there at the abdomen for their respiration at the tip of the abdomen a pair of long cerci will be there okay a pair of long cerci will be there and one medial collar filament will be there okay and are usually present okay then immediately after the adult emergence body of the insect is covered with closed set of fine hairs known as what your pellicle and the stage is known as what your subimago that means just when the adult will emerge then what will happen you see that is a subimago phase okay that means everything will be developed but their body will be wings will be covered with a uh, fine hairs okay known as pellicle and this stage is known as what your subimago then when the fully developed adults will come out which are capable of flying and reproduction those are known as what your imago imago before that sub imago understood 
legs and cerci are uh, well developed okay body is shiny and not covered with pellicle and adults are found near lakes and ponds and are also attracted by the light okay this is the mayfly you see egg from that nymph will come then that emerging dun dun means what your submago submago will be there then the imago will come and they will lay the eggs clear acha suno subscribe karte waqt na ghanti baja dena taki jab main online aaun to tumhare phone ki bhi ghanti bache